Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered how the sun impacts life on Earth? What if I told you that in 2025, the sun will reach one of its most powerful phases, the solar maximum, a phenomenon that will affect everything from stunning natural displays to our daily technology? Let's dive into what this means for our planet and how we can prepare for it. Let's uncover the mystery of the solar maximum and what it truly means for life on Earth. The sun goes through an 11-year cycle of activity, transitioning between a quiet phase called the solar minimum and an active phase known as the solar maximum. This cycle is marked by variations in the number of sunspots, dark, cooler areas on the sun's surface caused by magnetic activity. The solar maximum represents the peak of this cycle, characterized by the highest frequency of sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections. During the solar maximum, the sun's magnetic field undergoes a significant transformation as part of its 11-year solar cycle. At the peak of solar activity, the sun's magnetic poles reverse. The north and south magnetic poles switch places. This phenomenon, known as magnetic field reversal, is driven by the turbulent movement of plasma within the sun, which disrupts and reorganizes its magnetic field. During solar maximum, the sun's magnetic field becomes highly active and disordered, leading to increased solar phenomena. Currently, we are in solar cycle 25, which began in December 2019. Scientists predict that the solar maximum, the peak of this cycle, will occur around July 2025. At this peak, it is expected that we will observe a significant increase in sunspots, with estimates suggesting around 115 sunspots at its maximum. Originally, scientists thought this cycle might be quiet like the last one. But recently, the sun has been much more active than expected, so the 2025 solar maximum might be stronger than we thought. Let's rewind to October 2024. The sun had a major outburst, sending out an X9.0 solar flare, one of the strongest in years. This caused incredible auroras that could be seen much farther south than usual. It also reminded us of how these solar storms can impact our planet. The solar maximum isn't just a cosmic spectacle. It has real and sometimes dramatic effects on Earth. Increased solar activity can disrupt satellite operations, GPS navigation and radio communications. Geomagnetic storms, caused by CMEs, can induce electric currents in power lines, leading to voltage issues and, in severe cases, widespread power outages. Solar activity intensifies the Earth's magnetic field, resulting in breathtaking auroras visible much farther from the poles than usual. During solar maximum, even regions like Northern California or Europe could witness these stunning lights. As we approach the 2025 solar maximum, solar activity is ramping up. On December 29, 2024, the sun emitted three strong solar flares, peaking at 2.18 a.m., 11.14 p.m., and 11.31 p.m. Eastern Time. More recently, on January 3, 2025, the sun released a powerful X1.2 flare at 5.41 p.m. These events highlight the growing intensity of solar activity as we near the solar maximum. Monitoring solar events is essential to provide early warnings for geomagnetic storms that could impact Earth's technology and infrastructure. As we approach the 2025 solar maximum, it's essential to recognize both the awe-inspiring and potentially disruptive effects of increased solar activity. Advancements in space weather forecasting have enhanced our ability to predict and mitigate the adverse impacts of solar storms. By staying informed and prepared, we can appreciate the wonders of our sun while safeguarding the technological systems that underpin our daily lives. Thanks for watching. Stay curious about the wonders of our universe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating space content.